Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to be talking about a method of lossless compression that uh, is called uh, parabid uh, compression. Um, so the basic idea of lossless compression in general, so as we've seen, the, um, the entropy of an image is linked to the uh, amount of information that the image contains and therefore to the number of uh, bits that we need to encode that information. So for lossless compression, the uh, objective is to uh, reduce the entropy of the image without losing uh, any uh, actual information. So while still being able to recover um, the, the original image um, without losing anything. So how do we um, do that? So here in this notebook, uh, I've already uh, put uh, some of the code to, to allow us to do that. So we, we can start from the uh, cameraman uh, image. So as we've seen before, it's a grayscale um, a grayscale image, and here um, I am computing the um, the histogram of the of this image uh, using this time the built-in uh, methods from SciPy and uh, NumPy. Um, so with uh, NumPy, I have uh, an histogram method uh, where I give it uh, the, the 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 bins that I want to to, to use, and it returns uh, so the 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 values uh, of those bins and the bins that it. Uh, computed um, and so I can display it using a bar um, graph from uh, matplotlib and it will give me the, the, the same histogram that we've, uh, that we've seen before um, and the, the idea so is that uh, um, the, the entropy will tend to be uh, higher when we have a, a flatter histogram and the entropy will be lower if we have a histogram that is a more uh, a, a narrow uh, peak so what we want is to find a way to, to narrow this uh, histogram. Um, so the method that we are going to, to be showing here is not a method that's uh, currently um, used really to, uh, in, um, in image compression, but it kind of shows the idea of how we can manipulate the, the image to, 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 to produce this, these, uh, these kind of properties in, in an histogram. So the, the basic idea is to, uh, to start from the, from the original image and to uh, split it in a way that will try to, to introduce a lot of values close to zero in the image. So how do we uh, do we do that? Um, let's say here here we are taking uh, uh, an image that is uh, four by four uh, pixels, just to, to, to show the basic uh, the basic idea of how it works. And we what we'll do is we'll take every block of four pixels. So here pixel one, two, five, six, then three, four, seven, eight, etc. And for each of these blocks, we'll take the top left uh, pixel and put it as is in the top left of the uh, output image. So in the top left of the of the output image, what we'll have essentially is just the um, subsampled uh, image by a factor of uh, two. So here we'll have the one, three, nine, and eleven. So it will be the uh, top left uh, pixel of every block of four. Then for the uh, three other uh, quarters, uh, we will also do a subsampling, uh, but with an offset of, of one. But this time, instead of still just um, putting the, the, the subsampling, we are taking the, um, the subsampled uh, quadrants sub that we subtract from which we, we subtract the, um, the, the pixel in the, in the top left. So in here, we'll put the value of pixel number two minus the value of pixel number one. Here, it will be the value of pixel four minus the value of pixel three, etc. And so we will uh, do fill in the, the, the rest uh, of, the, of the quadrants with, with these uh, values, which will be just the, uh, the, the, the difference between the neighboring uh, pixels. And so the, the basic hypothesis uh, with this is that we are saying that pixels that are very close together in the image will tend to have a very uh, similar value. So aside from uh, the, the, the borders that we will have in an image, uh, pixels that are close together in the image will tend to have very similar value. And therefore, the difference between those pixels will tend to be very uh, close to zero except again uh, in the in the border and so by doing that what we uh, hope for is that most uh, that three quarters of the of the image here 
will be filled with um, values that are very close to zero and so we'll have a peak around zero uh, in our histogram um, which should uh, help us lower the, the entropy so here i have uh, um, a method to 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 code uh, what i've just explained here so let's uh, go quickly through it um, the first thing here is that um, that we will see that I'm casting the image uh, as a 16-bit uh, integer, and the reason for that is that when, we, as we are doing uh, differences uh, here, we will get uh, negative values in the output. So I cannot just use an 8-bit unsigned uh, integer. I will have to uh, to use a um, a signed uh, in signed integers um, so that we can get uh, negative values. And uh, here I am just taking the uh, the four um, sub uh, sub images so first here a will be um, so as we've seen in the previous video we are taking um, every second pixels in both dimensions so starting from the first pixel going to the last and with a step of two so this will take pixel here one three nine eleven etc uh, and put it in this uh, a variable uh, into B, we'll put um, the same thing, but offset by one in the um, x-axis. So it will be here starting. We start uh, in the, the the row zero, but we will start in the by the first column, uh, column number one. So this will be this one, and then again a step of two, and we uh, we take all of those pixels and we subtract the values from A that we have already computed. We do the same for C and D, which would be uh, bottom left and bottom right um, pixels. And here I'm doing the uh, reconstruction uh, here, so putting this uh, as uh, the output um, image, where I first just uh, copy uh, the, the original image. I compute the midpoints so that I know where I have to put the different uh, quadrants. And in the uh, top left quadrant, so from pixel zero to the midpoint, in both dimensions, I will put what I have computed in A. So here it will be the subsampled uh, image, uh, and then the same for B, C, and D. So let's quickly uh, look at what it's uh, doing. Uh, here I am using this method to, to split um, my image and uh, displaying the uh, results. And as you can see, in the top left, we have the uh, original subsampled image. So it seems a bit more uh, grayish. That's because we uh, We've changed the, the color scale uh, instead of going from 0 to 255. It goes now from minus uh, 256 uh, to, uh, uh, sorry, here it, go, oh yeah. the, it will go from minus 255 and to um, plus 255. And so the, um, that's done automatically by, by Matplotlib. Um, and so the, the, the dark value from the original image will look uh, gray in this uh, output, but the, the values themselves are the same as they were uh, in, in, this, uh, in this image. So this is just the, the subsampled image, and this is the, uh, the three um, difference images, where, as we can see, most values, and we can uh, see those values in the, the bottom right corner here, will be very close to, to zero. They can be um, negative or positive, but there will be a zero, a lot of zeros, ones, etc. except uh, where we had borders in the original image where we can have a few higher values. And the effect on the histogram, we can see it here. This time the histogram, I have to display it again, uh, uh, showing also the, um, the negative values because there will be some, uh, some negative values, but we have a huge peak now around uh, uh, zero. Uh, with just a few uh, values that are outside of that. And the uh, entropy that I compute here is already uh, a lot lower than what we had before. Instead of the uh, what was it, 7.06 7, uh, that we had, we now have an entropy of 5.6 uh, for this new histogram. Um, so something that we can do to, to um, Simplify this part of the of the code um, again that I can show you um, with uh, NumPy. So there is a, a slightly quicker way uh, rather than uh, creating a new image and uh, and putting everything, uh, computing the midpoint and putting everything in the right place. We can use another method from NumPy, which is uh, the stack method. And the stack uh, method allows us to concatenate different uh, arrays um, either along the horizontal axis uh, with uh, H stack or along the vertical axis with uh, v stack. So um, what's, what does that mean? 
uh, instead of all of this code, I can say that uh, int2 will be equal. So with each stack, I am concatenating uh, arrays uh, horizontally, so putting one array next to another and uh, uh, concatenating them uh, together. So I will put A and B um, together. And I'm going to then do the same thing for C and D. So C and D will be those two. I am again fixing them together. And then I want all of those to be uh, stacked uh, vertically. So I want to stack vertically the uh, A and B that I've put together with C and D that I've also already put together. And so this will just uh, concatenate everything at the right place uh, without uh, the need for, for all of this. Uh, so it's just a, a slightly quicker way to I can even directly return that. And hopefully, unless I made a mistake, yeah, it should give me uh, exactly the same uh, result. Um, so this is the, the first step of the algorithm, but uh, the next thing that we can do to, to reduce the entropy further is to actually repeat this step recursively uh, on the uh, top left um, quadrant here. So uh, those are already uh, good, they have already mostly zeros, but here we still have a lot of entropy contained in here, but you can just repeat the process for this part and again uh, cutting it in, into four quadrants and uh, filling most of it with the differences which should be close to zero and the subsampled uh, image uh, over here. And doing it, it recursively until we uh, only have uh, one value uh, over here. So how can we uh, quickly uh, do that? We well, have just modified this, uh, this uh, code to be uh, recursive. And the idea is that here I have the uh, kind of uh, escape, um, the way to escape the, the recursion. Um, if I get uh, to a point where the, the shape of my image can no longer be um, divided by, by two, so if I can no longer cut my image by, 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 uh, by two, I will uh, just return the image. Um, otherwise, I do the same thing, except that uh, here, um, instead of just putting A, I call uh, splits uh, recursively. And so I will keep splitting and splitting until I get to a point where I can no longer cut the image by uh, two. Um, aside from that, it's the uh, same thing here, so I can run it, and as you can see, I have uh, here um, done this, uh, this split uh, recursively, so at least one, two, three, four, five, six, and a bit more uh, over here, uh, until almost all of the image is actually contain containing uh, zero. So now my, uh, my uh, histogram really uh, looks like uh, one large peak around zero and uh, all, all the rest are very few uh, pixels that have this value. And now the, uh, the entropy has uh, gone uh, down to 4.5, uh, around 4.5. So I really lowered the, uh, the entropy of the image without at this point losing uh, any information. So um, we can still, and we will, uh, I will show you um, in a moment, uh, we can still reconstruct uh, the, the original image because we uh, have done just very uh, basic uh, subtractions that we can uh, reverse uh, fairly uh, easily. Um, so how do we uh, do this reconstruction? So now what, what, we, what we want to do basically is to, starting from this, um, this uh, image, we want to go all the way through the recursion until we find the value that corresponds to the uh, subsampled uh, image and um, Starting from that, we need to re-add the uh, values from the uh, neighboring uh, quadrants uh, to reform the image from the uh, previous step. So how will that work? Um, the same way first, we, we need to, um, to cut, uh, so let's uh, start from here. We find first the um, midsection, so the midpoint of the image. So here we go uh, here in the, the, the midpoint. Um, and what we will do is we will call rec recursively uh, our reconstruct method on the uh, top left. Okay, so the, the reconstruct here is called to uh, on the image to the to the midpoint, so the top left uh, quadrant. 
Uh, so we'll go here deep until we find the uh, um, the point where we can no longer um, uh, divide the shape by two. So it go all the way through the, the, the recursion. Um, so we find this uh, A. Then into B, we'll put the, um, the top right, uh, bottom left, and bottom right uh, quadrants. And here we are uh, creating our output uh, image. And uh, we have to do here the reverse operation. So we'll take on this, in this new image every second pixel, so the, the, the subsampling, and put A into it. Then, so this is uh, again taking these, these pixels, pixel 1, 2, 3, 9, 11, etc. Into pixel 2, 4, 10, and 12, we will uh, put this um, uh, the B plus a, so we do the reverse operation, we subtracted it before, now we will add it back um, to it and uh, do the same for, for all the other quadrants and return this image. And so this um, will be done again uh, recursively, so every time we get out, get out from a level of recursion, we will re-add every, everything that is at the same uh, level of the uh, pyramid. Um, so if we call our reconstruct method on im2, which is so the, this uh, um, this compressed uh, image, we should be able to find the original image back, and we do. So that worked. Um, so yeah, we can uh, we can here uh, uh, find ev exactly the original image. So we didn't lose any information. We just lowered the entropy of the image, which means that in theory we can uh, encode it using uh, less uh, less bits of information. Um, so again, the, there are no um, much more optimized and better methods for, for, for uh, actual uh, compression. Um, but this is kind of the, the, the basic idea of how we can uh, lower the entropy of an image without uh, losing any, um, any information. Um, that's it for this video, and I will see you in the next one.